Hi there. So I just wanted to give you a little story about my little red F1 in the background, you can see it. I'm uh, currently moving from Chicago down to Texas and I'm uh, driving through Illinois, down Arkansas, Louisiana, into Texas. So I moved to Chicago about two years ago uh, and had a, an old 1949 Ford F1 in the UK, uh, which I sold to John. Hey John, hope everything's going okay. Hope you're enjoying it. And then when I got here, I bought myself a nice old 1950 Ford F1, as you can see, the red one there. I got it on a famous uh, auction site, uh, and I have to say, whoever sold me it, I took the risk. Someone in Boston, Massachusetts. Although the truck was pretty good, it wasn't expensive, so I took the risk. A lot of the story they told me wasn't really true. Uh, I got it shipped over to Chicago and I took it into Randy at uh, Midwest Hot Rods and Randy and the team there have been absolutely fantastic. Really supportive, absolutely know what they're doing. Mine's not a show truck by any means compared to the sort of trucks and cars that they do. Uh, but she's good, she works, she's nice um, and I enjoy it to bits, that's for sure. Randy's just helped me just, just before I left actually some gearbox issues. Um, which were quickly repaired and he was willing just to spend his Saturday morning just getting me back on the road but I'm, I'm absolutely confident everything else is going to be okay. So I'm here on Route 66 in Illinois and uh, behind me is an old gas station, a, a 30s style gas station which I've just pulled up to have a look so you can see what a beautiful place this is. Uh, Standard Oil Company which was the original gas station here as I say in the 30s and um, some of you are probably aware I think this is fairly famous this place uh, but a great place to stop on the way just to have a breather it's closed at the moment I guess mainly because of Covid and everything uh, here's the truck as well so as I say Midwest Hot Rods have helped me a lot with the truck and uh, Randy there particularly I've also made some great friends in from the Voodoo Kings so Judy and Paul who uh, who have a great car that's uh, well I've got two actually Judy's got a Cadillac and um, Paul's got a nice four-door custom which uh, was done by Voodoo Larry and so the part of the Voodoo Kings and made me very welcome and if I'd have stayed longer I think I would have gotten more involved with you guys but so be it I'll get down to Texas and meet some good friends there too I'm sure uh, Voodoo Larry great guy too if ever you get the chance to go to Chicago and see Voodoo Larry and the workshop he has uh, some great amazing customs and all Larry wanted to do was chop my roof on this that was his obsession um, but I managed to get away from Chicago before he did it otherwise I might have been talked into it but anyway this is the Ford F1 as I say 1950 it when I got it it was on the original chassis but the original chassis was not very good it hadn't been put together it looked like somebody had rushed something together in order to sell it fresh paint and everything so generally what though it was something to work on and, and um, Randy's advice over at Midwest Hot Rost was to put it on an S10 chassis and the S10 chassis that they managed to get plus a company called Code 504 which do built uh, sorry bolt on adaptions for the S10 chassis so you can have F1 truck or or Chevy truck put onto an S10 chassis anyway they did that for me pulled it off put it all together again um, new brakes disc brakes front it's a nine inch Ford rear with the drums and uh, I recently got the white walls installed it had black walls before suddenly changed it from a pretty utilitarian truck on black tires to a pretty fancy custom and all of a sudden I can't tell you how many more waves I get with the white walls it just shows you so some of the things that um, I've kind of added I, I I put the tonneau on a few fancy pieces at the back as well some nice Ford exhaust covers uh, the little Ford chrome pieces are actually a, what would be used for a Model A bumper um, or fender or whatever you call them here um, most of the glass has been replaced not all of it just what's needed just uh, there's no air conditioning so I'm desperate for these vents and uh, certainly one thing I bought as well was a little fan to keep me cool as I'm driving around and uh, that, that's quite helpful 
and uh, the vent still works at the front so that that's surprising how much how much nice fresh air that puts in um, so you can adjust that that's my air conditioning uh, the seat is the original seat I've put a Pendleton blanket on it and um, a couple of lap belts just to feel a little bit safer at least uh, I made the um, gear gator and that's um, Pendleton Roundup is um, it's a famous rodeo uh, and um, I'm, this is a motorbike plate that I just made up and um, and I stitched this and put it together just to tidy it up a little bit but the carpets it's all pretty basic as I say it's not a show machine but um, she's nice I, I enjoy every minute of her and uh, my cooler that's from uh, just some root beer in there to keep me going I must be honest there's also a little bit of Lone Star beer at the back there uh, sorry tell a lie that's me getting mixed up it's old style beer it will be Lone Star beer um, so yeah that's the that's the truck I hope you like it I know I enjoy looking at uh, trucks that are on YouTube quite often so I thought well why not put mine on um, so there she is and that's the lovely old garage and if anybody's doing Route 66 make sure you get time to have a look at some of these beautiful old places not many left now and you know who knows there might not be a lot of fuel left in the future let's see how we go Anyway, thanks for taking the time at looking, I appreciate it.